In this video, let's see how we can effectively use first and last frame of graphic symbol to loop within the selected range of frames. There are three instances of graphic symbol here on stage. Let's see the definition of graphic symbol first. In this graphic symbol from frame number 1 to frame number 24, walk animation has been created. From frame number 25 to frame number 55, it is a jump animation. And from frame number 56 till the last is where the dinosaur falls down. Now, let's see how can we use these different poses on different instances. Let's observe the default behavior of these graphic symbol instances. For all these graphic instances, looping mode is set to loop. First frame is set to 1 and last frame is not set. When we play the animation, all the frames of graphic symbol like walking animation, jump animation, followed by falling animation are played in a loop. Now, let's try to use different pose animations that we have created instead of symbol definition for this symbol instances. For this instance, let's try to use walk animation. So in order to do that, I'm setting first frame to 1 and last frame to 24. For this instance, let's use a jump animation. To do it, I'm setting first frame to 25 and last frame to 55. And now, let's use falling down animation for the third instance. In case when you don't remember exact frame numbers, Frame Picker Panel can really help you. Frame Picker Panel lists all the frames visually for the selected symbol. There are so many frames, but we can filter the frames based on only keyframes. Here in case we already have a label. So I'm choosing the labels and first frame I want to set to the frame where falling animation starts. So, dino underscore fall. As soon as I select it in Property Inspector, it is updated. Now, last frame. I switch to all frames and select the last frame of the animation. Here we can observe that in Property Inspector first and last frame has been selected as per the selected thumbnails and frame picker. Let's play the animation and observe. Here all the graphic instances are playing their respective poses in loop. In this example, we saw how first and last frame works with loop mode for graphic symbols. Also note that it works well with reverse looping modes also. In case of reverse mode, animation starts with last frame and continues till the first frame and loops between this range of frames. After setting first and last frame, if you wish not to use last frame option. In order to do this, just click on the text part, press delete button, and click outside or press enter key. It will unset the last frame. I hope you find these features useful in your workflow. Thank you.